what's going on everybody welcome back to the video this is going to be the birth of our of our um dynasty with um the south alabama jaguars you see we got theo jones the second ready to come in and take over this program take them from a one-star program to a six-star national championship team right now i'm just speeding through the customization none of that really matters I'm trying, uh, you know, none of that really matters. Trying out a new playbook. So we're starting off with USC playbook. Um, hopefully we get some good wins with it. And right here you see me messing with the sliders. I got these sliders from off, off the internet. And I never really, um, I normally make my own because I know what I like. But I'm interested to see how much of a challenge this provides. I am playing on Heisman difficulty on offense and defense, and um, so I'm just looking forward to see how much, how much more challenging these sliders make it. You know, those are the penalties, but you see, I'm messing with the um, the user and the uh, computer sliders as well. You see, I'm turning down run block and turning down everything accuracy. I really don't mess with the field goal stuff, um, but they they told me on the off the internet I could. I think yeah, I put it up to 55. Um, but other than that, you know, I made it, I tried to make it as much of a challenge as possible. Here you'll see me. I'm since we're going with um, USA. I'm trying to make the Sun Belt Conference to where it's a two division. It's a two division conference. Um, that way, it's more. It's an extra game at the end, and you know that way you have to, you know, actually fight for your uh, conference championship. So that's what we're trying to do. I'm, I was wasn't sure what teams I wanted in there, but I wanted to be realistic. So I wanted teams from like the south like some from texas and um like at arkansas alabama i wanted to keep it like that i think i only put teams from texas in there i know i put utep i know i put utsa who else i forget who else i put in there but yeah i just wanted to have more games and make it a more competitive league i know the Sun Belt is probably i think it's the worst conference in the uh, game but I'm um, trying to make it a little bit more competitive. And once we start winning these championships, like once it becomes easy, we up out of there. We the only the only uh, conference I've never I've never played in the Big 12. So that's probably where where I'm gonna uh, move my uh, this team once we're done with the Sun Belt Conference. Right, here you see me deleting all the BCS bowl bids, the automatic uh, qualifiers. I don't want anyone to just have to, like, I want it to be a toss-up to see all oh, the best teams go to these bowls. I don't want, like, you know, the Big Ten champion to go to the Rose Bowl against the Pac-12. I want whoever's the best team is going to get in there. That's, what, that's how I wanted it. Now you see me uh, messing with the um, coaching trees. Always have to start off with scouting for the, um, for the head coach. Just so we know who we need to be going after. Right now, I'm doing red shirting. It's the team is not good, you know. So I was just like going through red shirting all the young people. But then I was like, man, you know, if recruiting goes right, right, we probably they might not get no burn anyway. Like I'm trying to have some freshmen come in and take over. And by the time they um they become like sophomores or whatever, son. Like, and I was looking at our secondary. We got a 80 overall corner he is like he has 79 speed but he's got great cover skills he just got he's too slow like he's gonna get burnt regardless i decided to put um i wanted as much speed in the uh, return game as possible so you know i'm putting some freshmen back there kick returns right here you see us messing with the um the schedule this year i'm random what you see me scrolling is i'm randomly uh selecting who to play I'm not uh, trying to take easy games, and I'm not necessarily, like we gonna play Alabama next year probably, um, just because I wanna see how much better we got. 
I know they're going to kill us this uh, this year. So right now you see we're playing Kansas State, Iowa, Nebraska, Miami of Ohio, then Sunbelt Conference. So I feel like we can win by six games. I want to go um, to a ball game this year. Here we got recruiting. You know, I'm just trying to hurry up and get through it, like I said. I selected like a few top players from Alabama to, just because I feel like I have a better chance of getting them over anybody else. And then obviously we're going to pick up the people who um, who are interested in us. I don't know how well I'm going to be able to recruit these players. Like I said, we're not very good and our, our grades are low. But um, that's why I'm trying to get like the best talent that's interested in us. And hopefully those players that are good that are in Alabama are um, they hopefully they want to come just because we're close to home And here y'all see me doing a little scouting. It re it's really nothing to uh, check out check out right now just because we only can do 25%. We're going to be checking back here a little bit later during the season, though, once we get like 50s and hopefully 100% later on. And here you see me customizing the starting quarterback, Desmond Trotter. He, will, he is um, four overall points lower than the starter quarterback, but he is a little bit faster, has a better arm, so he's going to be getting a start. Trey Mentor, uh, he's going to be our, hopefully our workhorse, hopefully he can uh, have some big games. If I'm relying on them too to get this offense going. Right now you do see um, Morton in that quarterback right now, but he's not, like I said, he's not going to be starting. He is a little bit, he's a little bit slower and his arm is not as um, strong or accurate as um, as Trotter. So those, those, those are going to be the starters uh, at my skill positions, definitely Trotter and Trey Mentor, like I said, if we can get some good um, play out of those two, I feel like we can win five or six games this year. So yeah, here we're just doing our little scrimmage. And one thing I did notice is our line is, I don't know if it's the line and I don't know, or I don't know if um, it's the sliders, but whatever it is, it's not good. So we're gonna have to work on that. Definitely um, looking at some uh, new like tackles and guards in the um, off season and recruiting so those are really what i'm uh aiming for some new receivers too we need some speed out here man My number one thing that I learned from um, a few things I actually picked up from picked up on in this scrimmage that we need to look at our offensive line our receivers need to um, I don't know like our route running for our receivers is not that great and sometimes they drop passes like so this these aren't the like this isn't the whole scrimmage but um, they were dropping a few open passes and um, they weren't getting separation from our corners and like these corners aren't good so I was trying to like if we can't get separation from these guys you know it's not going to be looking too great fortunately we do have a lot of seniors um, 
and juniors, so a lot of upperclassmen. So um, maybe once they graduate, we'll be able to get some new talent in, talent in, and uh, get some uh, wins, and you know, have some better, a better product on the field. Like I said, Trey Mentor is gonna be the person we lean on. I think he's gonna be the best. Um, I think he's. We're gonna try to get him a thousand yards this year. I think. I think he can do it. Definitely, he's gonna get. He's gonna get a bunch of touches. But um, like I said, if we can't block for him, then, you know, that ain't gonna be no good.